You're worried about the rift. I understand that. Have you seen Enchanter Vivienne? That's the picture of what a circle mage. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know the Chantry is no longer a threat to us. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the Mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the orders somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the Mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I could at least find out what the Mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. After the Divine's death, they're probably scrambling for allies. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave... The same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. So you're telling me this because... The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How do Elion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. 
Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durelion's rightful property. Has Empress Selene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferenin's monarchs on this matter. The Empress... has not yet had the opportunity to do so. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durelions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durelions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. His Grace was all bluster then. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Val Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. If every noble wandering by is as stubborn as the Marquis, what good is talking to them? Every kingdom is subject to its lords. The Inquisition will require their goodwill to survive. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Greetings. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norlay. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but Orlesians are fond of playful touches. What business are the Montilliers in, exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade routes to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore. Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. I'd swear our families have met before. Perhaps. Everyone of distinction in the free marches attends Lady Trevelyan's summer balls. Great Aunt Lucille always did love a party. I don't recall seeing you at any of them. Attend one ball, and you'll fend off invites for a dozen more. That reminds me. The Herald of Andraste has received several invitations from the curious. To parties? How many am I getting? Only 17 this month, I'm afraid. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. 
How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice... The Inquisition offered these ones to those in need. Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the Fade who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. Let's speak later. Farewell. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. With passioned breath does the darkness creep. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around, Val Royo. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Ein Bull. He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Back. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which? The ones who do things, the ones who give orders. What about Solus? Solus? <laughs> His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. Anything to say about Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying straight. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. Thoughts about Cassandra? Not as buttoned up as she plays, right? Tough, though. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. What do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. 
but that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business, if you have to have it. And colour. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. Nice hair, though. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Chasing mages, that's a Templar's job. A big, armoured, pissed-off helm polisher. Not too late to go find some. Or stay home. Tell me about yourself. Oh, yeah? Interested, are you? How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimrim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. Oh, you're from wherever. I'm from North wherever. What? North wherever. Oh, we had fun on street and or in local tavern. Oh, hardy ha. Oh, funny you. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Usually it takes considerable discipline. Hence my question. Hence? Look, I work at it. Practice a little. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Is it an elf thing? <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Track still is. No teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? You're not like most of the elves I've met. Thanks, right? Or was that an insult? I suppose I could go barefoot and mine now. Like that soulless, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. There's a lot of tradition there. Should it just be thrown away? Your great-grandfather's dead. Why aren't you dead? You're throwing away tradition. That makes sense to you. None of it does in the city. That's why I'm not like an elf. We'll talk later. If you say so. Lissa said to check with you to make sure these are safe to serve. They're fine. Nobody will take sick as long as she boils them right. Smart woman for asking, though.
too many wounded, and not enough...
believe we are nearing the end.
and to report some. Nothing to report, sir. Renegades sully the next. The Templars. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've heard things about you, Vivi. It is properly Madame Vivienne, official mage to the Imperial Court. Yes, that's what I heard. Not the title, the snotty bit. However shall I recover from your condemnation? You're still doing it. Can you even shut it off? For you, my dear, no. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said- <laughs> ah! That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come! Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I've been called a lot of things lately by a lot of people. Well, I'm talking to you. Stop dancing. We're Inquisition. Trying to find out why the Wardens disappeared and if it had anything to do with the Divine's murder. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. So where are the rest of you? I haven't seen any Wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire, make you better than you think you are. I wasn't aware Grey Wardens could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. The treaties are ancient. Outside of blights, it's as binding as a clever tongue can make it. Do you have any idea where the other Wardens could have gone? Maybe they returned to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in the Anderfels, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. 
Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to. Or maybe there's a new directive, but a runner got lost or something. My job was to recruit on my own. Plan to stay that way for months. Years. You're no help. I'm no further ahead than I was. Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. Look, maybe fighting demons from the sky isn't something I'm practiced at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being a warden means something to a lot of people. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This warden walks with the Inquisition.
Prepare yourself. The area ahead is fortified. Nothing to report, sir. 